and welcome to my Google Sheets tutorial on conditional formatting based on another cell value. My name is John Flat, and I'm just going to run through this quick tutorial. We assume that you've already learned to conditional format based on the actual cell's value. This is slightly different, a bit more advanced, um, but it, what it does is allows you to highlight a separate cell. Um, for example, in this data set, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking for anybody with scores under 35. Obviously, we could highlight using conditional formatting any scores under 35 like we did in the previous tutorial here, but what we actually want to do is we want to highlight the names of the individuals with a score under 35. So to do that, we can open up the conditional formatting. We can either come up here to format, go to conditional formatting, or we can right click, come down to conditional formatting. So this opens up the conditional formatting screen over here on the right. You'll see initially it's set up for a single color and it's applied to the range we're looking for the names. Um, it's obviously set up as not empty as it's the basic, um, but to, to change this, we'll click on this drop down here and we'll go to custom formula is. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna look at the adjacent cell. So we wanna look into column B and see anything under 35 and highlight column A. So to do that, what we move equals B2 less than 35. That automatically highlights all the names with less score less than 35. Once that's done, we have the basics of what we want. We'll go ahead and we'll just mark this red as this is typically, you know, we're not marking people below a score here. Um, but that's the first data set. That's a fairly simple way of doing it. Now you can take it a bit further and make it more abstract and more valuable for yourself. So to do that, we're going to go to a different data set. This one's broken down. It's not the overall scores. It's individual subjects. Um, same thing. We're going to highlight here. We're going to right click conditional formatting. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do one that's looking at each of these and it's going to find anybody that scored below 35 on any of the subjects. So this is where it comes in really handy because you don't have to look at each score and then trace back. So to do this, same thing, custom, form custom formula is equals, and then here we're going to say or, because we want to find any one that, that any of them have it. So or, and then parenthesis, B2 less than 35, comma, C2 less than 35, comma, D2 less than 35, and parentheses. And now we have anybody who scored less than a 35 on any of the tests. We'll change them to red. So now what we want to do is we want to find anybody who scored over 80 on all three tests. So the first one was any of the tests. Now this one is going to be all three of the tests. So we're going to change it. We're going to use and. So what you can do is you can actually go add another role or add another rule. It will bring this, it'll copy it and bring the same exact thing up. So you'll, you get the same range. Everything's there. Except what you want, you want to do here is you'll go ahead and delete this and say equals and instead of or, you'll say B2 greater than 80 comma C2 is greater than 80 comma and D2 is greater than 80 and parentheses change that to green. So now we have any person who all three scores are over 80 is marked as green. In this situation, marked is the only one list that comes up that way. Um, so you can see that. Um, another way you could, another rule you could add in here, um, you could do the same concept, but instead you could do or, so you're finding anybody who scored an 80 on any of them, and they may be yellow, so we mark those ones. So now we have anybody who's scored below 35 on any of them, anybody who scored over 80 of them marked in yellow, and then anybody who scored over 80 on all of them marked in green. So this allows us to compile a list of data and a list of information um, looking at just one cell instead of looking at all three and trying to locate um, where the scores are. So now that we've done that, I've got one more trick I want to show you with this. Um, it's a great way if you want to maybe track a cumulative score and set a threshold that you can change depending on um, you know, maybe it's it's grading on a curve, for example, in this in this example. Um, but you want to be able to change it throughout this the, the time period um, at any point. So we'll go to this cumulative sheet here. And what we'll do is we'll notice I put in here a cumulative and it's summing up each one to the left. Um, it creates a cumulative score for each of them. And say we want to set a threshold on that. Um, that anybody over a cumulative score of 200 is highlighted. So what we could do is we could do threshold, we can do 200. Now that you have your threshold and you want to come back over to the names, highlight the names, conditional formatting rules are over here. Go ahead and add another rule. Come in down here, custom formula is equals E2, because we're looking at column E, which is the cumulative score. And I want to say greater than 
G2, because that's our threshold. Now, I want to go ahead and point out here one major thing here. Since G2 is stationary and is not going to move, we want to make sure we add the dollar sign. So it's dollar sign G, dollar sign 2. Now, it looks at E2, E3, and it compares each and every one of them to G2 specifically. It doesn't go down the range like we had set up earlier. So that's put in place there. We'll go ahead, let's change that to a light blue. And you'll notice that nothing's changed over on the left, but we definitely have some people over 200. So the issue here is that this custom, uh, this conditional formatting rule is at the bottom, which makes it the lowest priority of the conditional formatting in place. To change that, you come here and you drag it up to the top. And now you'll see anybody with over 200 is now marked. So the cool thing about this is say that you decide mid time period that you need to change your threshold. Say you want it to be 150. Now anybody over 150 is marked, 255. For example, those are just some options. So that's just another way you can use it. It makes it a bit more dynamic for you if needed. Thanks for joining us for the tutorial on conditional formatting based on another cell value in Google Sheets.